Hello, everyone. I'm pleased to announce that electronic voting is now open for vacancies on the CFPC board for terms that begin in November this year. Five board director spots are to be filled in this election. First, members are asked to vote to confirm candidates for the executive positions of President-elect and Secretary-Treasurer. The nominee for President-elect is Dr. Guillaume Charbonneau of Maniwaki, Quebec. The candidate for Secretary-Treasurer is Dr. Paul Sotchuk of Winnipeg, Manitoba. As well, the CFPC Nominating Committee has put forward three candidates for director-at-large positions. Dr. Satpal Dillon of Yellowknife, Dr. Namta Gupta of Montreal, and Dr. Shirley Shipper of Edmonton. Please go to the CFPC website to view the bios of all candidates and personal videos provided by the director-at-large candidates. You can also read the nominating committee's rationale for choosing their three nominees for the director-at-large positions from the excellent field of candidates who came forward. I thank everyone who made the effort to submit their applications. Voting is open from October 13 to November 2. Until now, voting has taken place in person at the annual meeting of members at Family Medicine Forum. With our electronic voting process, all college members will receive an individual invitation by email to register your votes electronically. In this way, Voting will not be limited to only those who attend the annual meeting of members. Online voting will remain confidential because of the way responses are aggregated. The results will be presented during the annual meeting of members on Thursday, November 10th in Vancouver. This new process was devised with great care as the college strives to provide an open and transparent voting system for its members. I want to thank the members of the CFPC's Governance Advisory Committee, Nominating Committee, and college staff for their work on this important initiative. We also want to recognize that this is a new approach that is being introduced on a trial basis. We will be conducting an evaluation of the electronic voting process after FMF before we make any changes to college bylaws. So stay tuned for your opportunity to provide feedback and of course, be sure to vote. Until next time, take good care.